Okay, so good morning, Sagittarius. This is Pretty Coach Oracles, and we're coming to do a general love reading for the sign of Sagittarius today. Um, if any of these messages do resonate with you, please give this a video a thumbs up, and also please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. A lot of energy here, so we're hopping in. Before I do, I'll fit in. So the overall energy for the main two cards that were pulled for the foundation of this reading is the Ace of Swords. This Ace of Swords for me, um, first of all, I'm going to say that this could be dealing with fire signs and air. That's number one. But the meaning of this card for me is usually that there's some type of truth that comes forth that destroys. Um, or it, it, it's like it does both. It both destroys and purifies because that's what fire does to me. Fire is a purifier as well as it destroys what needs to be burned away. So, again, there's some destructive information that could be getting ready to come forth. Um, either Sagittarius because of you or you're going to find it out regarding you. Like it's going to be because somebody else is doing this towards you. Either way that this resonates, but some type of information is going to come out. It's going to be true information, and it's going to help you get the clarity that you need to make a decision, okay, one way or the other. This could regard somebody who is got Pisces in their chart that you're in a union with, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces with that a water sign, basically, could be um, involved with this scenario, all right? So the first card that came out for the foundation of the reading was the death the death card, which is Scorpio energy, and Scorpio is a water sign. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio male or female, okay? But more importantly, the number one understanding that I got from both of the cards that wound up coming out, which both of these flipped over and turned up at the same time. So basically, I got an ending and forward movement. And it's not just an ending in any kind of forward movement. It's an ending and a new beginning because this chariot has a lotus flower on the back. And the lotus flower is about new beginnings. So Sagittarius, that is your reading. I'm done. No, I'm just playing. I'm going to go in detail because I did pull some other cards just to get some more insight. But the overall message so far that I felt like I got right away is that something is ending and you will be moving on to a new beginning. Um, I'm thinking a new life altogether. A new life. All right. <clears throat> now, first of all, one of the cards to come out, actually all four of these cards came out at the same time. Let me just say that. All four of these cards came out at the same time, clarifying the the death energy. Also, let me just say that death definitely indicates a change is happening. Like a change is certain. Change is imminent. The end of something is happening, period. Okay. Even if in fact it is reborn in another way, there's an ending coming and you can't get around that. So change is happening. We got the five of swords clarifying this. We got the 10 of swords in reverse clarifying this. We got the hermit in reverse clarifying this. And then we got the Ten of Pentacles. So first and foremost, I get the vibe that there was some major mind games being played here, um, manipulative tactics here. Um, Sagittarius, this could have been you doing this to someone in your relationship, or this could be your partner doing this to you in your relationship, or this could be both of you guys doing this to one another in the connection, okay? But there was a power struggle. There has been, you know... You guys have played games with each other, mentally speaking, okay? And even with the ways that you communicated, you have communicated and you it's been strategic communication. It's not it's like you guys will allow each other to think what you want each other to think, you know, um to get a certain type of reaction or response. This is somebody who's trying to have control over another person by using tactics of the mind. I don't know, you know, what other, whatever you know that has been done to you or that you feel or that you are aware that you've done to someone else, you know, you can come up with any example of that. All right. Um, but to me, that's sneaky behavior. OK, that's sneaky. And ultimately, with the death card being here and these are all cards clarifying that that's what's coming to an end. That's what's needing 
to change. Ten of Swords in reverse. Usually this means that a form of betrayal to me is coming to an end. But it may not be the case. Like in this case, it could be delayed. Okay. This betrayal, this feeling alone, this feeling like a failure, maybe this feeling like, damn, another situation where it didn't work out could be being delayed at this time. It could be putting on pause. Okay. Um, also, this could deal with the end of self-sabotage, the end of um, self-betrayal. Okay. Some of you guys are, it could be you Sagittarius or it could be the other person involved or it could be both of you guys. Both of you guys could know good and well that this connection is over or that it's not conducive for you. And so somehow you're both selling yourself short in the connection. But change is here about that. And that won't be lasting very long. Okay. This card did come out in uh, the main reading that I did yesterday morning. If you have not seen that reading Sagittarius, I truly recommend that you go look at it. You could have Jupiter and Pisces or you could have um, Pisces somewhere very significant in your chart, okay, or Scorpio for that matter. The name of that video is called Hidden for Such a Time as This. Go check that reading out, okay? Um, if you consider yourself a divine feminine, you may also want to go and look out, look, check out the other video that I did after that. I can't remember that name, but um, before I put up you guys' this video, if I, I'll get the link and put that in the description box. I'll actually just put both of those videos in the description for you, okay? Moving on, so change is going to come in this, like this is the end of this Ten of Swords energy. I do want to still get some of the other meanings that the Ten of Swords in reverse could have. So give me a moment. Let me press pause. Okay, so some of the other understandings besides the one that I had generally about this connection, the Ten of Swords could also deal with someone having an advantage, um, somebody seeming like they're winning or they have the upper hand in a situation, uh, but it's going to only be for a limited time, okay? So Sagittarius, you could be feeling like the ending of some other relationship um, you know, you could have the upper hand or something, or you could feel like you have the upper hand already in the, in this relationship, you know, um, but it's only going to be for a limited amount of time. So please be careful about that. But again, my main understanding that I definitely got is that this is going to be the end of self-sabotage, the end of self-betrayal here. Okay. And the reason that that happened for you guys is because a lot of you guys have been in hermit mode and maybe you're coming out of it with the information and the spiritual guidance and insight that you need. I'm also going to get the Hermit in reverse energy as well, just to be on the side of giving all the information. Okay. Well, I like my interpretation of it better because it's just a lot more nicer, but here could be some of the energy that's also surrounding the Sagittarius. And I, I feel this with everything in me. No offense, but I do. Um, the Hermit in reverse can deal with sneakiness. It can deal with things still being hidden, okay? Things still not being revealed. So somebody could still be concealing themselves. You could be faking. You could be in disguise, okay? Um, or some of you guys could be really, really, you could be coming up with rules and shit in the relationship, based upon sneaky behaviors that you could have going on or that you know that the other person has going on, okay? So ultimately, I feel like this hermit information is that something is still hidden. Something is still hidden. And I feel like what's being hidden from you, Sagittarius, or what you're hiding from another person is something in regards to money, okay? Somebody is wanting... Oh, that was the other meaning of the Ten of Swords in reverse. It's like... Somebody is going to have some type of profit or success, but it's all going to be for a limited amount of time. So with this being the two tens that's out here, the ten of swords and the ten of pentacles, I do feel like they could be connected. So be very mindful of that. Pay attention. You could come into some money or you could be setting aside money. You could be hiding the fact that you're gathering somebody else's money, whoever's in this connection with you, because you feel like 
they've done some dirt in your union, you're doing your dirt. You could be hiding money away, okay? And you could be thinking that you have the upper hand, the advantage, just in case this dude want to play around with you, just in case he fooling around on you, got somebody else or wants to even bring another person into your situation. It looks like you've been trying to take money or, you know, set some aside for yourself so that when you leave or if this ends in a way that's not conducive to you, you're good. You feel like, okay, it's cool. I want it. And I can assure you that that is not going to work out for you because karma always comes back. So you want to always, I'm going to just tell you this now, you want to always be in this position of treating people the way that you want to be treated, even if they mistreat you, because we all reap what we sow. And the most high, though the most high does reap, like he watches and he sees, the, not why am I saying he, the universe, the most high creator, which is masculine and feminine or whatever, they watch causes and effects. They pay attention to what's happening that makes a person do something. However, they still, you know, hold everybody involved responsible for the part that they played in, in, in everything that they did, you know? So with that being said, if you do, if somebody does something to hurt you and um, you turn right around and do something to hurt them, well, all you just did was heat some more negative karma towards yourself because that's going to still come back to you, all right? And if you don't operate towards that person negatively or the way that they did you and you put out good, you put out love, you are in fact also going to reap that back as well. So be very mindful, guys. Don't like this Scorpio energy. Y'all could very much, you could be a Sagittarius that has Scorpio very prevalent somewhere in your chart because Scorpio's energy came out twice, okay? Let me just say this, clarifying the car, the cards that I use to clarify the bottom of the deck is the two of cups energy. So to me, this is definitely a soulmate union, okay? This is a soulmate union here, I do believe. It could be a part of the 144,000, who knows? I'm not entirely sure, but it, you know, so it could be the 144,000 or it could just be a divine soulmate union. And I do feel like I'm feeling that it's more of a divine soulmate union here, okay? This is a, those unions are built to basically teach us lessons about ourselves, okay? And both parties involved need to learn. So the next part that came out, you guys, was the chariot. And I told you that this is going to be forward movement for you guys, that you were moving forward and you were going in a new direction, a new beginning, a new life was going to take place or start to happen for you, okay? Now, here's the thing. Uh, when clarifying this chariot energy, I feel like the reason that you're going to have to move forward and that you're going to recognize that you just need to start fresh, you need to have something new, is going to be because you realize that somebody was fake the whole time. Somebody was fraud. If it's not you, Sagittarius, which I do think it could be you, it could be both parties. Like, again, this is like a situation where both of you guys are very similar. Even though you're different, you're very similar, okay? This was a mirror for us. All right. Could have had a third party situation involved because I did see the three of pentacles underneath. Doesn't have to be the case, but could be, okay? But you're going to find that somebody literally was trying to act like they knew what they were doing and trying to act like they were trying to, like this person was definitely trying to manifest some things, but they really didn't know what the freak that they were doing. And they were trying to fake it the whole time until they make it, okay? You could have very well understood that and known that, but that's going to truly be revealed quickly, okay? And this is going to be part of what causes you to just be like, I got to move on from this. I have, to, I can't do this anymore. Because not only is this faking it till you make it type stuff, it's like, if this person who's trying to manifest but not doing a good job or don't really know exactly what they're doing continues, they're going to mess something up, okay? They're going to break something. And I feel like you are going to be what was broken, Sagittarius, okay? Or maybe both of you guys could be what's broken. I also feel like this magician energy talks about you guys both wanting, to, I, and I don't think that this is coming from a terrible place, okay? But I do think that it's still terrible nonetheless. I feel like from the beginning, this was built upon a lie. Like, not like, I don't mean like they were just totally lying to you about everything, but I feel like what they were trying to manifest, they weren't being direct about it. They were doing it in a roundabout, underhanded, sneaky way. 
Um, and they were trying to manifest something that they don't really feel confident that they can manifest on their own. So in a way, it's like this person was using you. But then again, you were doing the same thing to that person. Whoever this energy was, usually for me, this is my Aries card, but it could be any person. It could be any male masculine energy. What I'm saying here is that somebody came to you and while they weren't trying to be mean and hateful and evil, it's like in the end, because they're not really who they're not really this person or they really don't know how to manifest this stuff for themselves. That's what kind of makes it bad. Like you really don't know what you're doing. And you're trying to get me on board for something that you really don't know how to bring about. You know, so that's the energy. The next part that came out was the Six of Swords. So I really get the vibe that because you find this information out, because you realize that this is a lie, you know, that somebody really don't know what they're doing, you're going to move on. You're going to move on, whether this is you taking a trip, um, a vacation, or if you totally leave this person behind, this could be you moving you know, just moving on from the whole situation. You're going to use the lessons that you learned. This is a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy card with water energy. So you could have this in your chart somewhere or the other person that you're dealing with, Sagittarius, can have it in their chart. But after you find this information out, honey, you are moving on. And if you don't do it physically, this is going to be something that you are definitely mentally thinking about. Like, Right now, you're probably on this spiritual journey. You're probably thinking about the fact that this person really don't know what the fuck they're doing. And you're thinking about the fact that I'm going to have to get away from here. I'm going to have to move on. Last and final card that came out was the death card again. So this is some very strong energy of ending and new beginnings. And again, this is clarifying the chariot. So I feel like you are definitely going to change something. Something is changing, you know. On a deep, deep level. This also deals with sexual energy as well. Uh, the other thing that a magician can mean in the reverse is that, you know, you could be not sex not satisfied sexually by this person, or it could be the fact that you could be extremely sex sexually satisfied, but that's all that it is. It's like, damn, you know, we only really, really connect sexually. You know, and the emotional intimacy is not there. That emotional connection, that that feeling of knowing that you're super loved, it's not there. And as much as you enjoy this person in other ways, and again, this could be on both parties' part, Sagittarius, or this could be on your part to your partner, or this could be the way that you feel about your partner with you. Like, we can get it on sexually. I love it. It's amazing. But I just kind of feel like that's all we got is sex. And that's not enough, I don't think, for you. And I think that this is going to come to an end for you. This is truly going to come to an end. Now, again, I don't know if it's going to be a new beginning totally with this person or if it's going to be a total new beginning, new life, like this is being left behind. I get the vibe that this is being left behind. like. Baby, you are running away quickly from something. And I don't think it's a running away as in you didn't want to deal. I just feel like you have seen all that you need to see. You have heard all that you need to hear and you are done. And you're like, it's time for a change. I can't stay in this anymore. So... I pray that something resonated with you, Sagittarius. Um, if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can do so at theprettycoachoracles.com. I love you guys with the love of the most high. Have a wonderful day. Please do not forget to like, comment, and also please subscribe to the channel. Bye, guys.